Welcome to an introduction to accounting brought to you by Park Bench Tutors. In this podcast what we're going to do is to show you how we construct a balance sheet for a sole trader. In our first podcast we dealt with information provided by Tropical Designs and it was the results of their first year of trading. And the first thing that we had to do was to construct the income statement because if we didn't have the income statement then we don't have any figures for profit or loss that would be needed for the balance statement. So there's our task then to construct the balance sheet having already got the piece of information that we need here from the income statement. So I'm just going to scroll down here now and you can see that I've already got a skeleton for my balance sheet and I've already filled in the profit for the year which I have taken from that income statement. Now the information I will need is first of all for fixed assets, in other words something that the business owns and uses to carry out the business. In fact if we look down the list on this side we will see that there are no fixed assets. So we now look at the current assets and inventory we do have a closing inventory, sometimes known as stock over in the UK, but a closing inventory of £5,800, which is fine. Our trade receivables, otherwise known as our debtors, that is how much money is owed us by customers. And here we are, here's our figure 2360. 2360 and how much cash have we got in the bank which is another current asset and at the end of the year we have 41,930 which is a good deal more than I've got in my account okay so we now have net current assets so far of 50,090 and of course we haven't subtracted from those any current liabilities current liabilities are trade payables in other words the money that we owe. So here we are. The money we owe to suppliers at the end of the year is 1800. 1800 pounds. So I'm going to put that in. That's fine. And so I now have net current assets of 48,290. Do I have any long-term liabilities? I have a bank loan here, a long-term bank loan to fill in, 15,000. Okay. And that then gives me uh, my figures, I think, for my assets and liabilities. Have to chop that out. Okay. Right, now we are going to look for the opening capital. In other words, how much money was put into this business at the start of the year. And I'm looking, looking, looking. Here we are. The capital at the start from penny savings was 27,500. So I need to fill that in here. And drawings, how much money did she take out? 30,000. That's a reasonable amount. And there we are. I've now filled in everything from the figures at the end of the year. And you can see that I have two figures here which I've highlighted 33,290, 33,290. They match because, of course, this first figure here is obtained by taking the assets and subtracting the liabilities and this second figure here represents our equity and if you can remember your accounting equation says that assets minus liabilities will be equal to equity in other words the accounting equation has to balance and that certainly applies to the balance sheet we should show in our balance sheet that we have balanced our accounting equation remember too that the balance sheet here for tropical designs is at a particular date in the words this is a statement of the financial position or the balance sheet as on set December the 31st the end of that year that ends this podcast brought to you by Park Bench Tutors and narrated by David Hopcroft thank you for watching and for listening